The Cabinet of Ministers have approved a vote account for the four months starting from January next year. Steps have been taken to send this to the legal draftsman as well. Meanwhile, views were expressed today about this and about the current situation of the country at a media briefing to announce Cabinet decisions. We reject the claims that IG Nishanta Silva was removed from duty by the President. There is no connection of the President regarding this. This was done by the IGP. The 2018 appropriation bill was passed in Parliament and the funds have been sent to the Consolidated Fund. We do not need the approval of the Parliament to take that money. We can carry out activities of paying wages and salaries without the approval of Parliament until the 31st of December 2018. Parliament the secretary has issued a circular before a chairman or a director is to be appointed. If there is a vacancy, a senior official of the ministry, a deputy secretary or an assistant secretary should be appointed temporarily. Thereafter, the chairman can be appointed. There is a committee to check the suitability of these people at the presidential secretariat. You can only go through that. There is a circular that has been issued cancelling the appointments as to how the ministers want. There is a circular. Actions will be taken based on that. Even in the past, there was a committee when the ministers sent names that committees discussed this. This has happened without going through the committee. The President's Secretary has issued a circular yesterday as well. Actions will be taken based on that. Yesterday on News First, we pointed out Dr. Nalaka Kodaheva was appointed as chairman of Sri Lanka Insurance Corporation at a time when he is out on bail over financial fraud allegations. It is a known fact that several financial misappropriations, such as steep increases in stock prices of certain companies, the controversial pumping and dumping scandal, occurred during his tenure as the chairman of the SEC. According to a report carried on the Daily Mirror on the 27th of August 2017, Vaskadua Beach Resort, a subsidiary of Citrus Leisure, had allegations levelled against it for illicit dealings within the stock market. Nalaka Godaheva had acted as the 10th and 16th largest shareholder of this company at the time. He is also the seventh largest shareholder of yet another controversial company, which is the Colombo Land and Development Company. The Daily Mirror report also goes on to say that Dr. Nalaka Godaheva had acted as the chairman of a company named Divasa Finance, which individuals such as Dilit Jaivira and Varuni Amunugama are affiliated to. He also has allegations levelled against him for being a middleman when obtaining a large amount of money which was to be acquired by a member of the Rajapaksa family during the infamous Krish transaction. He was also part of the disputed deal which saw 29% of Lanka Hospital's PLC being sold. Following the toppling of the Rajapaksa administration in 2015, a probe was launched to look into financial misappropriations committed by him at the SEC. The allegation against him was for releasing funds which were allocated for a program implemented to promote investing in the stock market among youth and transferring it to normal Rajapaksa for another task. Yet another appointment which bears a striking similarity to Nalaka Godaheva's appointment took place recently as well. That is Kapila Chandrasena, who has many allegations levelled against him being appointed as the chairman of Sri Lankan Airlines. However, Kapila Chandrasena was forced to resign from his position following a mass outcry from the general public. What is the hidden agenda behind appointing disputed, controversial individuals to top positions over and over again?